Hello, and welcome to the first of the videos about Newtonian physics, basic concepts, in which I'll be introducing the concepts of mass and weight, velocity and acceleration, force and momentum, and pressure and density. However, not in that order. Uh, we'll start off with force. Force is something which causes bodies to move, or if they can't move, get compressed. For example, uh, supposing I take this external hard drive and I let go. It would drop. It drops because there's a force on this hard drive called its weight, which is pushing down. While I hold it, there is also another force on this hard drive coming from my hand, pushing up. And if the weight and the force going up from my hand are equal and opposite, then the hard drive does not move. If there was something in between my hand and the hard drive, a piece of paper, for example, then that piece of paper would be being compressed slightly because the force of the hard drive's weight pushing down and the force provided by my hand pushing up are squeezing that paper slightly. But if my hand wasn't there, the hard drive would go down. If my hand was supplying the same amount of force, but the hard drive wasn't, wasn't there anymore, then the paper would go up like that. Force is what causes things to move. It's measured in units called newtons. Next, pressure. Pressure is the ratio of the force to the area over which that force is being exerted. Go back to the hard drive again. There is a pressure on my hand caused by the weight of the hard drive pressing down on my hand. If I was to do that, can I balance it? Ugh, maybe not. Um, okay, let's try that way. Ugh. Okay, this was a bad example. Um, a mobile phone. It is exerting a force and a pressure going down on my hand. If I do that with it, then the force is the same. It has the same weight pressing down, but the pressure on the part of my hand that is in contact with the phone has increased because all of that force is now being exerted, pushed over a smaller area. And the ratio of the force to the area, that's the pressure. So I have a larger pressure on a smaller part of my hand in contact. But the product of the pressure and the area over which it is being pressed is constant in both cases, because that is just equal to the total force, which is the weight of this mobile phone. Right, move on. Mass. Mass is the property of matter which results in it having weight, that force of weight. Fundamental property of almost all types of matter. The fact that it has weight is a function of the fact that it is near the Earth, which is providing a large gravitational attraction. And it's the action of gravity on that mass that produces the force. If the Earth wasn't there and there was no gravitational attraction, then the object would still have mass, but it would no longer have weight. There would be no force pushing it down to the Earth. Example here shows an astronaut with the same mass on the Earth as on the Moon, but different weights, because there's different amounts of gravitational attraction in the two locations. If the astronaut was just in completely empty space with no planets or moons anywhere near, then the astronaut would be weightless, but they would still have mass. Mass is measured in the SI units of kilograms. Density. 
Density is the ratio of mass to volume. Back to the hard drive, it has mass and it has a certain volume. If I took its mass in kilograms and divided by the volume in cubic meters, I would get the density in kilograms per cubic meter. That would be an average density. Parts of the hard drive are more dense than others, and in general, the density at every single point in the volume would be slightly different, um, but there is an average density that I can calculate for anything like this. It's just the ratio of the mass to the volume. Velocity. How fast something is going in a given direction, as opposed to speed, which is just how fast something is going. The difference can maybe be best explained in terms of a object flying round in a circle like this. It goes round the circle once, the circle has a circumference of maybe 10 meters, and it takes one second to go all the way around that circle. How fast is it going? Well, in terms of speed, it has gone 10 meters in one second, therefore the speed would be 10 meters per second. In terms of the velocity, the answer is zero, because it hasn't gone anywhere. It spent the same amount of time going up as it has going down, the same amount of time going left as it has going right, so the total displacement, the total distance between where it started and where it's ended is zero, and that makes the velocity zero. because it hasn't gone anywhere. There's an instantaneous velocity. At every single point, it is going in a particular direction at 10 meters per second, but its average velocity over an entire revolution is zero. But the average speed is 10 meters per second. Next, acceleration. Acceleration is how fast the velocity is changing. So if something starts out moving very slowly and then increases in speed and increases and gets faster and faster, then we say it is accelerating. And we measure acceleration in terms of the change in velocity per second. So the change in velocity has units of meters per second. So the units of acceleration uh, is the change in velocity per second, meters per second per second, which we usually write meters per second squared or meters seconds to the minus two. This object here going around a circle, it has an acceleration. It is constantly accelerating because its velocity is constantly changing. Here, instantaneous velocity is going in that direction. Here, the instantaneous velocity is going in that direction. The speed hasn't changed. That's still 10 meters per second. But its velocity has changed because it's going in a different direction. And if its velocity is changing, then that means it is accelerating. So this object going around around this circle is constantly accelerating. Finally, momentum. The momentum of a moving particle is simply its mass multiplied by its velocity. Usually use the symbol P for momentum, and it's measured in kilograms, the unit of mass, times meters per second, the unit of velocity. So momentum is measured in kilogram meters per second. Which brings us to this, one of those motivational posters that the internet is so fond of, but which annoys me because it's just wrong. The power of momentum, the most powerful force in life 
and business. Momentum is not a force. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. It's measured in kilograms, meters per second. Force is measured in newtons. Force is what produces motion, what either compresses things or forces them to move. That's the end of this one. Next time we'll look at Newton's laws of motion.